Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 22, otherwise known as The Finale. So we've got a new synopsis, and we've got a new interview with the producer of the show actually talking about what's happening with Thorn in The Finale. So this is reverse Flash-centric, so I'm so excited. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so let's first go over this synopsis, and just to remind you guys, a lot of you have been commenting actually recently, you're like, why isn't there 23 episodes in this season, why is there only 22? Well, the simple fact is, I don't know, we have no idea, it doesn't matter, it's just one episode, it's just to trim it down a little bit so that the timings, I'm guessing for shooting the next season can start earlier so they don't finish too late and they can get it all edited and ready they can get back into the writers room the actors will come back earlier and that has been confirmed already that the actors are going to be coming back earlier we'll talk about that in just a moment as we head later into this video all right so let's go ahead and break down the synopsis so this is how it goes so this is for episode 22 Barry faces off with the reverse flash. Barry faces off with his oldest and most formidable nemesis, reverse flash. That is it. That is just the synopsis. I love it. I love how simple to the point it is. It's literally just teasing what we've seen from behind the scenes. We've seen those leaks with Barry and Team Flash actually fighting reverse flash. Reverse flash returns to present day and this episode is officially titled Legacy. So Legacy has been a theme obviously that has been very prevalent throughout this entire season with Nora coming back in time, it's her father's legacy, she learns about the Flash and so on. So it's very fitting that the title is for the finale Legacy but also I think Legacy in terms of the reverse Flash's legacy and what he's going to be doing in this episode because as it says Barry faces off with the reverse Flash. So he is going to turn on Nora. I don't know how he's going to turn, but we know that the timer on his cell is going to play in the, into this. We will talk about the interview where Todd Helbing, the showrunner, actually teases about the timer and Thorne actually getting out of prison. So he teases that. We'll go over that in just a sec. But with him actually coming to present day somehow, it seems like he somehow escapes the prison rather than is let out because, you know, he's done many things wrong in the past. So. I think maybe it is with the help of Nora that he gets out, and I think the way the season is probably going to end is going to be heavily related to Reverse Flash, because as it's been built, this is a big Reverse Flash episode, so I reckon, like how they ended the crossover, the Crisis on Earth X crossover with Reverse Flash running away, I reckon something similar to that's going to happen, and that's going to play into how Crisis actually begins next season, because we know it's in the middle of the season, and it's going to be a massive thing on all the shows, but The Flash obviously plays such a big part in that because they've been teasing Crisis since Season 1, and, you know, the Reverse Flash is such a central part of what happens in that, so he's definitely surely returning. There is no way that he doesn't return, and I think the way they end the season will tease Crisis, and Barry facing off against Reverse Flash is just amazing. We haven't seen that since Crisis on Earth X, so you know, a couple of years ago, and that was such a great experience to see him finally back, even working with other villains like Overgirl and the Dark Arrow, that was just so cool seeing that, so I'm very excited to see Barry actually face off against Reverse Flash, because Reverse Flash as a presence has been so good this season, like, definitely my favourite part of the season, along with Nora, so them two working together, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it all ends, and I reckon it's going to be something to do with Nora if I was to theorise how he's going to return, come back to present day, and actually somehow be freed. So, that's episode 22 titled Legacy, so that's the season finale, so don't forget that. But we're going to go on and talk about some of this interview context that is coming from TV Line, and then we'll talk about the season 6 shooting dates that have been officially revealed by one of the people that works on the set and it's 100% real because he's very, very reliable and he actually works there. Alright, so this is various sections of an interview that was said and actually done on TV Line, so I'm quoting Todd Helbing all this time. So he says, There was a conversation with Nora about can people be redeemed, she asks. 
and this was earlier in the season, what about Thorn? And Barry gives his answer that he hopes he can. So we're playing with whether it's possible with somebody like Thorn or not. So that's a big thing going into the finale in the last couple of episodes with Thorn being around and him actually facing off against his most formidable nemesis, the Reverse Slash. So that's going to be a very big thing as we head towards the finale. And so this is another quote. The great thing about having Tom Kavanagh in the role is that just looking at the guy, you want to believe him. When he presents himself as caring, helping says, there's lots of double speak with Thorn. But at some point, he will just say what he feels. Everybody will see if he's being truthful or not. Alright, so let's break this bit down. So, talking about Tom Kavanagh, it's 100% true. You look at him, you know, he's the face of Harrison Wells. You trust most of these Harrison Wellses. And so, looking at him, you're like, I love this guy. He's a great villain. You want to like him. You want him to be good. And this season, with the idea of him potentially being redeemed... Definitely, obviously there's two sides, but, you know, we really do believe that he feels for Nora and there's a connection and that he has some good in him. So I can 100% see what they're going for and I think it's really working. And so there's a lot of double speak with Thorn, as Helbing says. So that's very true. You can see the manipulation. Iris even sensed it a few episodes ago. And so we will find out eventually he will plot out whatever he's doing and whatever his real intent was the whole time. So, viewers will also learn exactly what that countdown clock outside Thorne's future prison cell is truly about. Most recently, he said to Nora, somewhat cryptically, that his time on Earth is almost up. So, we will find out exactly what's going to be happening with that. And so, across the final three episodes of Season 5, starting this Tuesday at 8, 7 central, there are a lot, there are a lot of explanations about everything Helbing promises. I don't want to give anything away, but that countdown clock plays into what we've seen already with him. Alright, so we're going to get the revelation of what that countdown clock actually means because we've had it teased this whole season like he's gonna die and we presume it's death row that he's on essentially a timer until he's about to get killed, but we don't truly know because remember this is the future they might take away his powers, they may kill him, like on death row in present day, or it may be something totally different, maybe sent to another Earth, like a Siberia on another Earth, I don't know. But I think it's very interesting that this is going to be playing into what has actually happened already with him, because there is some connection helping teasers, so I'm very curious to see how that actually plays into the finale and how you know, obviously with Reverse Flash getting out, being in present day, how that actually affects what goes on forwards, because we don't know what it actually truly is. But let's move on, and let's talk about the Season 6 shooting days. So David, and I'll leave his links in the description below, he's a worker on the crew of The Flash, he's been sort of tweeting out recently quite a lot about these upcoming episodes and now about season six. So I've got some news for you guys. So this is what David says, and I can't really pronounce his surname, so I apologize. I'm not going to try and butcher it on this video, but you can go check out his Twitter in the description below. So he says, The Flash. Well, my friends, we got our camera date for season six. We start shooting July 2nd. I'll be back in prep mode at beginning of June. A few more days of wrap next week and I will be done. Looks like I get a little over a month hiatus. Yay. Hashtag season six. All right. So he officially confirms the shooting date for The Flash. So the past few years, we've been a bit like mystified about what's going on because say in terms of Supergirl more recently, we had Melissa on Broadway. We didn't know if she was going to come back or not. No one announced anything. So it's kind of nice to get some clarification. Also, we got some clarification on Supergirl Season 5 shooting. I'll make a video on that probably today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, so he confirmed Season 6 will start shooting July 2nd. So I do believe this is a bit earlier than normal. Actually, last year they actually began shooting on July 6th. So... That was four days later, so not that big of a difference, but mainly Supergirl has that big gap. But anyway, so David confirmed he's going back in and they're prepping for season six actually at the beginning of June. So 
the people behind the scenes don't have a very long time. But that's more exciting for us as the fans because we know they'll be shooting a little bit earlier and we can get that Comic-Con footage that we always get. And it's just such a nice experience to finally get our shows back in, even if it's just set photos and little pieces of information. Because as you know, if you've been around and subscribed to my channel over the last few summers when we've been doing videos, it's very, very dry when there's nothing going on, you know, like after the finales at the end of May. So very soon, actually, in the next few weeks, we're going to be sort of at the end. We'll theorize for a few weeks maybe about, you know, the finales and how they ended, so the cliffhangers. We'll talk about that for a few weeks and then we will hit a dry spot. Then we'll go to Comic-Con, we'll get the trailer, we'll get some little pieces of set information here and there. And then once we get to August, it's just dead. And then September starts again and we get some of the promotion and some more set photos and so on. So it's very on and off in the summer. But yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. If you please could subscribe and turn on notifications so when we get to the summer, you can check out every single video because we will not be stopping making videos in the summer. We'll have videos as much as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.